Nintendo. You too would come to understand fear as I have. Oh, I didn't have any audio. That, yeah. that makes sense. Hello. Well, we were just watching that anyways. Yeah. Uh, yeah, some people are saying black screen. Just refresh, I guess. Re refresh. Other people definitely were, have been saying things. I mean, yeah, if they can't see it. Yeah, yeah I'm getting here. Can't hear me either. Cool. Check on my laptop too. Hello. Let's Time play some darkness in the day. Time for some eternal darkness. Um, yeah, in the broad daylight. So it's been a long time since I played, but uh, we got a fully uh, maxed out save file and everything. So we'll just see what, what we can get, get into. We'll start with a new game. This guy. Yeah, so we've completely done these. Would you like to carry this information into the new game? Why not? Sure. Flesh. Bone. Bound together with the oddest magical incantation. This wretched book is where it all began so long ago. Before time. Before humanity. I am Dr. Edward Roivas. I am a clinical psychologist. I am also dead. This is not my story, nor even the story of the Roivas family. It is the story of humanity. Like it or not, believe it or not, as you will. Your perceptions will not change reality, but simply color it. Humanity has been on the edge of extinction for two millennia. Ignorant of so much, and dependent on so few. The Guardians grow restless. Their time once again near. Whether by fate or misfortune, my family has crossed their path, and they didn't take kindly to it. Their attention turns to my granddaughter, for she is the last of my line and the last hope for humanity. How bad is the audio crackling? We've, we've had that issue for a while. It tends to be minor, but...
Uh, hello? Miss Alexandra Oivas? Um, yeah, who's this? This is Inspector Legratz of the Rhode Island Police. I'm sorry to disturb you, but there's been an accident with your grandfather. I'll be on the next flight out. It's funny how you get kind of like these CG scenes that look more dated than even the Polygon stuff. They might have been made back when it was on N64, I don't know. Ah, Miss Roybus, I'm pleased to meet you. I trust you had a pleasant trip? Um, yes, I suppose so, considering. Yes, my condolences. This is most unpleasant. It's a shame we couldn't meet under brighter circumstances. Yes, it is. Can we get this over with, please? Of course. This way. But I must warn you, it's not a pleasant sight. I'm afraid there's not much to see. Miss Roybus, is that your grandfather, Edward? Yes, it's him. He's wearing our family ring. I don't understand. Why are you showing me this? Can't you check dental records or something? What is wrong with you? I'm... I'm sorry. It's my job, lady. You're the only living relative, and no, we can't check dental records. There's no head. Oh, none of this makes sense. There's no sign of intrusion, and there was certainly a lot of force used here. I have never seen anything like this in my 20 years on the force. We have no evidence except for the body, and what's left doesn't say much. Ugh, we don't have a single clue. Well, you better find out who did this. I'm not leaving Rhode Island until you do. There must be some clue in this old mansion revealing what happened. I want answers. So do I. I wish I had some. Shocked by her grandfather's mysterious death and frustrated at the incompetence of the local police, Alex vows to uncover the truth. Decides to search the mansion, the place where Edward conducted his research. There's a tie to his past and possibly a tie to his murder. It will be in here. Three thirty-three. Beautiful carriage clock. Hands appear to be stuck, yet the clock continues to tick. Time permanently set to three thirty-three. Key on the back of the clock, presumably for winding it. Did Alex look at the key? Yes. Alex picks up the desk clock and pulls the key from it. However, there's something odd about the key. It isn't for winding it at all. It looks like a dresser key. Any weird audio? Uh, yeah, the sink's like a little bit off. The skosh, but like, I, I don't know, nothing to work. Hmm. And we're definitely getting crackled, but. Nothing we do about crackle. that. Last week, rays of sunlight fight the shroud of darkness. It lends an eerie feel to the last few weeks' events. As the sun sets, Alex will be alone in his house with nothing but the spirits of old for company. of the ancestral Roybus lie in the foyer walls. Their faces reveal a dark brooding edge. There is something about each one that gives the viewer an unsettling feeling. The grand piano stands here, awaiting the hands of a decent musician. Fortunately, Edward never really lived up to that description, and as such, the piano fell into disuse. Set for one, Alex's grandfather Edward's private nature meant he never had many visitors, and this is a lonely evidence of it. 
Illustration features a collection of strange line designs related to each other in a cyclical manner. I'm going to go do some stuff. Stay right. sane, everybody. I'll see you in a bit. There appears to be some significance to it, but it isn't particularly evident. is fastened to the door, taking the place of the lock. Colored sigil is carved into the wood above the a wide slot. The slot is just wide enough to insert a narrow blade. Key, second floor key. Key comes apart in the lock. The key to the second floor is broken. Perhaps there's a way of repairing it. mansion beckons to Alex, drawing her back to uncover the family secrets it hides. Alex will not leave till she has learned what has happened to her grandfather. until a long time later. Mm -hmm. I've played this quite a few times. I have not played it in a little bit though. In the warm glow of candlelight, the Royus family tree hangs from the wall. Shadows flitter across its surface, obscuring the detail. If one looks closely, the family secrets are revealed. And then you try to look at it and always see the hangman. I don't know. These books contain the history of the Royus family. Genealogy, birth, and death records, deeds, and writs. The Royus history is a troubled one. As Mediterranean immigrants, the early Roivis were shunned by other settlers in North America. Suspected of witchcraft, the Roivis were convicted during the witch hunts, forcing them into hiding. As memories faded, the Roivis rebuilt their lives.
Books in this corner seem to focus on the supernatural. The writings of Poe, Lovecraft, the poetry of Blake, the art of Bosch, everything with a tie to ethereal horror fantasy. It is all here, a reference library to the arcane. Was this Alex's grandfather's secret hobby? slight draft can be felt issuing from beneath the bookshelf, almost as though a vent or empty space behind it. The looming grandfather clock seems to stand ominously in the corner, gazing on this empty room with an almost patriarchal air. She uses the control stick to adjust the hands. Should I adjust the clock hands? Yes. 33. Large leather bound antique book rests upon the cluttered desk. Should Alex read the book? of what was to come, nor did I care. How the knowledge changed me, it will also change you. As you read this, you will come to learn fear as I have. You too will come to understand, or you will perish. To think that once I could not see beyond the veil of our reality, to see those who dwell behind. My life now has purpose, for I have learned the frailty of flesh and bone. I was once a fool. Where is Quies Candemest? Where is Consovondi? Facusatis aquae suman, et animus eorum conforma. What are you guys are talking about? Sin getum so, that seems weird. Quam primum, Centurio Augustus. Wallo rest. I would like to compliment you once more on your battle tactics. Our enemies did not have a chance. Do you believe that it really exists, Centurion? I do not doubt our Emperor's beliefs or his orders. But if we are to retrieve the artifact, then we must be strong and patient.
Yeah, it's hard for me to hear. I definitely hear the crackling, which is a little annoying. Uh, we, can, we can chalk that up to sanity effects, I guess. Um, but yeah. Not sure why the bass would sound lower. Oh, I gotta turn this. Mute this again. <laughs> so I don't hear myself. Uh, yeah, that's weird. Sorry about that. Yeah, and it's, it's not vibe much either. It just has something to do with the way it's going through this adapter. But I don't feel like, I feel like I've used it a couple of times and it wasn't a problem. This on the floor is finely crafted, inlaid with golden gems that Pius can't identify. A strong linear design is situated in the middle and is equally unknown to the Roman soldier. Maybe, I wonder, options. It's in stereo mode. I can turn the volume down a little bit, but. Yeah, I can't think of what it would be. If, if it were in surround, I could kind of maybe get it if it was doing something weird with that. Yeah, I mean, it's not even about... <laughs> the thing is, like, I don't even know what I would need to double check. It's it's a pretty straightforward plug-in, so I don't know why it would be weird. Unless just the converter I'm using from component to HDMI is doing something strange to it. Ladder leads into the dank heart of the labyrinth. Danger lurks beneath, yet Pius' courageous resolve does not buckle. Should Pius climb down the ladder? Heart spawn. You're a subscriber now. Thank you. Okay, I love it. I love the little flinch. Play the game where it strengths. Uh, it can get really creepy. Uh, it has uh, sanity effects that are pretty unlike just about any other game. Uh, and uh, it's a good story. It's just, just changing locations and things like that. Atmosphere is the main thing. Blue cube. Um, 
play through it three different ways. Um, which really, like, uh, I mean, you basically play through the same story, but uh, some things are very different based on which, which path you choose. Different enemy types and such. If you do all three, then you get an extra ending. This wall is prominently decorated with a strange line symbol carved into the granite. Cut into the wall is a square hole lined with the scratches as though something has been removed from it. Yeah, it's kind of old school in that like you actually have to go to the inventory to use all your items. Uh, it has a really interesting uh, bell system as well. Where you could actually like figure out spells by combining different symbols. All these guys are going to pop up. Here's the river one where you have to, where you learn about combat. Nothing yep. mm -hmm. unusual here, just a statue with your name on it.
attached to a small pylon softly illuminates the room. A bizarre energy seems to radiate from it. Should Pius push the button? Yeah, combat's not a great strength. Um, it's definitely an interesting concept, being able to target limbs. Um, but it can be a bit slow at times. And obviously, like, these are the grunt, gruntiest of enemies. And here we go. Three symbols. A strange sculpture resembling a red clawed worm mysteriously floats above the pedestal. Pius claimed this artifact? Nah. Strange. A shape like a delicate dome, a pale blue statuette floats gracefully above the pedestal. Did Pius claim this artifact? Nah. An effigy resembling a warped angel, shaped from dark green emerald, hovers effortlessly above the pedestal. Pius claim this artifact. Yeah. Yeah, this fundamentally alters the rest of the game. since then, and I have learned much. I was once as naive as a child, but now my mind is sharp. With the power of Zalatoth, I can now read the thoughts of others and make them raving mad with a mere suggestion. Face me, and you shall surely perish. So, yeah. Basically, green is the most sanity draining path. So that's where you see the craziest weird stuff. Strangely, with the Tome of Eternal Darkness in their possession, Alex can read the page. It is a chapter page from the Tome itself. Should Alex take the chapter page? Alex has found a chapter page titled The Binding of the Corpse God. I cannot say what was the true beginning, nor am I sure of its end. So perhaps here is the best place to start. I am reminded of ideas I first encountered in Sir James George Frazier's book, The Golden Bough, a study in magic and religion. We are overwhelmed by a very human need to weave a web of meaning where there may be none. Since time immemorial, ancient peoples have dressed up their lack of knowledge as gods and demons. I have discovered that sometimes the fates of gods and mortals intertwine and legends are born. So 1150 AD now, Cambodia. My time is done, great ancient. Forever in shadow will you be master of chaos and to fade to nothing in obscurity will be thy fate. My master has planned many millennia for this day. It is the true chaos of all things that you now must be entombed amongst the, the beings, beings of flesh and bone. bone. You have a great monument here, Antarok. It is a pity that no one will ever recognize it as yours. May the darkness claim me, falling chaos and damned beast. No longer. Thy reign be kept over the ancients. You have kept in prison. Thou hast seen the last of this world. Sorry.
magical fables can keep me amused. There has to be something to do around here. I only wish something that fantastic and of higher purpose could happen to me. Triangular design carved into the floor. The X grooves are filled with colored sand. These symbols appear to be related to each other, with one having precedence over another. <laughs> Red to blue to green, purple in the middle. Statue of a goddess, delicately sculpted from sandstone. It casts an alert eye over everyone who enters the temple. There is a strange necklace about its neck. Should Elia take the necklace from the statue? Guard a strange necklace. The necklace can be used to heal Elia. Make sure that Elia does not move when the spell is being cast. Wonder. Just save. Yeah, just save any time. But I can't create a new save. Which of these is the smallest? Let's do that one, 111. Sorry, it's a little dark on Brandon's TV, so. <laughs> Sometimes I miss doors and things. The design on the wall appears to depict the time of day. Perhaps the candles do too. Graved on the floor is a striking design featuring the sun sinking below the edge of the world. Oh! Now you've done it. Located by creatures, a sanity loss occurs, causing a decrease in the level of the sanity meter and the character to pull screen. Beware, sanity loss affects perception and eventually health. Yep, sanity meter explanation again. Yep, yep, yep. Hi, self. Hi, self. Hi. Uh, can I reheat you uh, some Tuesday pizza or make you a sandwich? Oh, sure, sure. Sandwich uh, probably be better, but either way. All right. Turkey and cheese fine? Yeah. More sanity, please. Step more sanity. Right, I guess. guess they won't. Performing a finishing move on a creature recovers sanity, so we will not be doing that. If you want to get crazy? Want to go crazy. <laughs> nice.
I mean, like, how, other than just, like, you know, messing up your, your brain, like, how, how does that actually impede your progress? Like, I know you get a little... Eventually, it, uh, starts lowering your health as well. Oh, okay. But, yeah, in general, it's not too big a video. Graves on the floor is a striking design featuring a brightly burning sun. Bronze necklace sits atop an ancient clay urn. Sign on the wall appears to depict a time of day. Perhaps it's candles do too. Press buttons to extinguish candles. Gerhard Resub, eight months. Thank you. A uh, with Twitch Prime, so yeah, you can you can do that. Yeah, yeah. Door is open slightly, but not far enough for Elia to go over it. Don't push around the buttons. Beginning of the insanity. Ah, nice. Uh, fun fact about the stream. Uh, we're actually on a, a Wii because, uh, this game was doing some weird, crazy technical stuff, and so the uh, it, it basically reads from two parts of the disc at the same time for cutscenes. And uh, because I have a modified GameCube, like it's not quite perfectly like factory aligned to when it was originally put together uh, when they took it apart and put it back together to play uh, U.S. games because it's a Japanese GameCube. Uh, so because of that, Eternal Darkness on my GameCube, actual GameCube, can do some weird, funky stuff sometimes, uh, and not, and not really run right and like just end up skipping over cutscenes and things like that. Thank you, Jones. Welcome. Thanks for playing a spooky game. <laughs> I think Dennis Dyack, yeah, actually it's a signed copy for anyone that huh? cares about that, that. Is that who that was? That's awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah, I met Dennis a few times over the years, around when this came out. I know you're not supposed to go shirtless on Twitch Live, but I'm close, man. <laughs> it is hot! Sophie, no. No, no. <laughs> uh, my GameCube was modded to play US games. Um, I got it before the US launch. 
And it's a real simple modification because it's just like one on-off spot on the circuit board. So you, it's literally just like installing a switch. A Nintendo switch? So it's just funny that every GameCube has the entire menu in both Japanese and English. European ones are different, I'm sure. Red guy. Thank you. Yeah, red guys are the strongest. He'll keep coming after me too, even though he doesn't have any arms. I think red will grow back. Let's see if that's right. Yep, there's another arm. I believe Shadows of the Eternal may still be working. Uh, they may still be working on it, but it's... They, they run into so many weird controversies and things like that, and they have a very small team. Um, but I don't know the current status of it. Oh yeah, I forgot about that. Still covered with decorative edgings. Oh, we got bleeding walls. Sanity effects happening. Nice. Bleeding walls confirmed. in the temple. Now we got green enemies. Oh yeah, so they'll, they'll take uh, health and sanity when they hit you. But now we got poison darts. Guard is grateful for Elia saving his life. In return, he offers to repair Elia's broken weapon as a gesture of thanks. So now we can equip either one. No, 
Oh yeah, that wasn't even a full heal. Mio depicts a skeletal demon befriending the ancient Khmer people by denouncing one of their fertility gods. something can be inserted, perhaps a key or a lever. Crooked angle is also part of the sanity. Ah. Still alive, he'll grow back stuff. This game goes through a lot of different time periods. Yeah, we saw kind of yeah, the early Roman stuff at the beginning. The World War II stuff, some medieval, medieval stuff. Uh, I think there's like an Iraq war thing, if I remember right. This mural depicts one of the ancient Khmer deities being tortured and killed by a skeletal demon. Oh yeah, and then you also go to like present day with uh, Alex and the mansion. It 
just that sound effect, you know, just that for 30 minutes to an hour, that'll get to you. Mm -hmm. It's like, yeah, 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 in the background. There's a lot of crazy sound stuff in this. Like, I, the puzzles really got me stuck in this game, and so that actually like, aggravated me. You know, there's so much like antagonistic audio in this game. So, you are reduced to feeding on flesh and bone, Antrimok. How the mighty have fallen. You will surely fester for millennia to come. A slow and torturous fate for thee. You had best leave, young fool, or you will find yourself as food for the dead god. to fight the eternal darkness. I give you a gift in return for an obligation. The gift is your life, sweet dancer. The obligation is this. You hold one of Mantelok's hearts. The essence of a corpse guard. To some it is a source of great power. For most people, you must admit Unless they use it to destroy with little brightness, your world has left in it. Guard it well. is held by the arms of the statue. Take a little tour of Mantarok here. Size seals the vault. A stylized design resembling the creature that dwells within the room is carved into the stone.
we'll walk back and forth through a couple of rooms just in case we can get some more sanity effects. Volume. <laughs> I love that. Yeah. It's a pretty, pretty classic generic volume thing. I can't believe I fell for that at the time. If you want to get your sanity back, you just have to finish enemies off. Again, child. Very well, then. You will succumb to the horrors of oblivion. Edward Royas' study is filled with arcane knickknacks, mementos of yesteryear, and other cultures. The odor of ancient texts is faintly noticeable under the peppering of dust that covers every surface, except one. The desk had been a center of activity, 
and not a mote of dust is on it. Here, Alex's great, Alex's grandfather had worked, perhaps even hours before the end. small shrine of candles. Their placement appears to be very deliberate, corresponding to etchings on the table and an illustration upon the wall. Some of the candles have been lit. With the correct sequence of candles being lit, a hidden panel opens. There is a message to inside. antique leather-bound message tube, the kind used to transport sealed messages, message scrolls. It appears to be unopened. There might be something inside. Alex has found chapter page entitled, Suspicions of Conspiracy. Your presence is welcome, Majesty. As always, I am honored. Our dealings are a pleasure to us both. He lies. As do we all. What is this flaw you wish to discuss with us? My concern is with the other ancients. Uliot, Chaturka. Should they unite with Mantrok, they will doubtlessly possess enough power to vanquish even thee. As darkness abhors light. And light abhors dark. The others will not, cannot join forces. Mandarok will be bound, and the others will sink into insanity when I return. As has been foretold. I was unaware. There is much you do not know. And much you never will. Be certain to retrieve Mandrock's essence. It is necessary to cement our place in the world. Then what of Charlemagne the Frank? What do you intend for him? The Frank is an instrument of light. He seeks to unite Europe under his banner. With this in place, my guardians will be hard-pressed to perform the functions you require. For your own schemes, Pius. Think of your future. Then Charlemagne will be removed from the picture. Make sure he is dead. Or insane. Or perhaps one, then the other. Just make sure he is removed from power. Of course. He is as good as dead. Yeah, get rid of that tube. From my research, it is apparent that the endeavors of mankind are mere puppetry at the hands of the ancients. Whenever a king vows reform, the ancients move quickly to stifle it. Under the auspices of Emperor Charlemagne the Frank, the new Holy Roman Empire was at the height of its power. 814, France. Concret ad dominum, et imperatorum nostrum, carolum magnum francum, delivered to our lord and emperor Charlemagne the Frank. No one but him must see it. There are words for his eyes only, at once. Sorcery is this? A spell? I am bewitched. 
this was meant for Charlemagne, then what will become of him? I have to warn him of this treachery. After Anthony briefly describes his mission, the monk informs him that Charlemagne was last seen in an audience with the bishop in the visiting chamber. Muffled voices emanate from inside the bishop's visiting chamber. However, the door is locked, and Anthony will need the bishop's key to enter and gain an audience with Charlemagne. Anthony's presence is questioned by the monks, feeling that he has trespassed upon sacred ground. The monk seems rather subdued, perhaps out of respect, or perhaps out of fear. The monk cordially greets Anthony, however he brings grave news of the loss of one of his order, who fell from the tower to his death. His tone is guarded, leaving Anthony wondering if it, indeed this is the truth. Funeral casket made from unfinished wood. It is not properly sealed and could probably be opened. Oh my god, what is oh. happening? This devil's work. We should get out of here. You have proven what we have feared the most. This poor man has been a victim of great evil. Look how his body has been defiled. As if something has burst out from inside him. Here, take this for your protection. And find the bishop. He must be informed of this horrible discovery. Renaissance. Peering inside the casket, Anthony sees the body of a monk. His raiment is that of a, his order, stained with blood, that is seeped from many grievous wounds. It is truly a disturbing sight. Augustus. Broken statue from the beginning. Elia. Blue urn rushed upon the shelf. Faint, warm sunlight filters into the room through these windows. Tiny dust smokes drift caught in the rays of the dying sun, fighting the growing shadow.
mysterious gold medallion rests upon the desk. Circle of power. Circle of power. Describe the amount of power that a spell will have. The more points within that circle, the stronger the spell will be. Spells are magical incantations that enhance a character's natural abilities. Spell list. Doo -doo 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 -doo. New spell. Oh yeah, this is where you get to combine the runes. This is where your rune collection shows up. And that's where you can assign spell shortcuts. So that's the list of all the spells that we'll eventually get. Don't have enough components to make a spell. And there's all the runes and circles of power we'll eventually get. Bewildering away of books and tombs sorted neatly on a set of shelves. Mostly books of a religious nature. They sit beneath a sky of dust as if no one has touched them. Amongst tomes and manuscripts, a book brings attention to itself. Oddly pristine on the dusty shelf. It doesn't quite belong. Should Anthony move the book? Anthony pretty much always, yes. On this book. There's the door. Oh yeah, take some sanity, please. Sanity. Sanity. Yeah, so there's the thing you might have seen is that, uh, the, uh, Yeah, so now if he hits me, just take sanity. Right, let him give one more whack in there. Come on. Yes. Runes are the key element in creating spells. By collecting and combining runes in different ways, different spells can be created. life, the monk tells Anthony what happened. He was carrying a sacred urn from the baptismal font when he was confronted by the bishop who was brandishing a large blade and whose eyes burned with an evil fire. Frightened, the monk dropped the urn out of shock and ran. Returning to retrieve the urn, he found only the sword the bishop left behind. With thanks, he gives the bishop's sword to Anthony. Two-edged sword. Which I, I think is actually like not great to use if I remember right. Because it's Might be alright. Give it a shot. The monk ambles around nervously, as if half expecting the demonic bishop to return at any moment. Mm -mm. This area is dark, and it is difficult to make out any detail. Perhaps Bethany had a light source. Mixed. 
This function allows you to combine two items into one. Two thirds of a broken urn. Og Miggity just subscribed. You're a subscriber now. All right. Put the urn back together. Sort of. There's the, this is the definition of the rune. It's kind of a weird extra part of it. Codex. Runes cannot be understood without a codex. Without a codex, runes in your possession will remain a mystery. Two runes. Curse gets stronger. Mummies, burn the mummies. Soiled from the dank atmosphere of the room and the corruption about it. And as you just subscribed, you're a subscriber now! Sanity's getting real low. We're gonna see some fun stuff soon. Red urn's fun. Size mountain. Build red urn. Disturbing rendition of a monstrous devil. It is contorted into what appears to be a fountain. What sickly liquid is this draining into the pool, trickling from a scum encrusted spout? Uh, Jones is working on the uh, record review right now. Sanity is gone. <laughs> nice. Really happening. TV got turned off on us. Plate on the floor is carved with three curious circles. Dried splashes have marred its pockmarked and worn surface. Religious texts of an unspeakable nature, written in languages utterable only by monsters or corrupt humans. Anterbach. Another codex. Detail. Ancient scroll of what appears to be paper. Chant item spell scroll. So now, so this is basically like the cheat sheet. This is the recipe. Torn scroll illustrated with a geometric symbol is accompanied by a small note. The note reads, 
That which is broken shall be fixed. That which is dull will be sharp. Thus is the nature of the enchant item magic. The spell requires the Antrobok and Magarmor runes. Fumbling around, the urn slips from Anthony's stiff fingers, dashing itself into fragments as it hits the floor. Anthony has picked up a broken blue urn. Anthony has found a magical room. There we go. First spell. And how you cast spells. Sign spells. Say to sign a spell to a button, okay. Sign it level three, fully off to uh, let's try it up. Yep, I can understand. Magic meter, got it. Character regenerates when the character is in motion. Or magic regenerates. Okay. <laughs> Dunking the urn to the foul-smelling fountain, it becomes filled to the brim with brain fluid. It is a lot heavier now, and ripe with bitter. With the arcane artifacts and texts, this table reflects the unholy presence within the church, a seething pit of iniquity and evil. Sanity. I'm just about to go to mouse and drain my health.
shrine to a god that is ceased of an ancient evil, that graced the earth before mankind walked its ballads. Yeah, this is a weird thing that they added, these little uh, trapper guys. I think I can get by them. What's, what's funny is you can actually use them to your advantage. Let's look at it. Just so we can show it. Um, but yeah, so you go like to this other dimension, and then if you go to the different medallions to refill your uh, refill your health or magic or sanity. Trap dimension sprawls in every direction. Whilst this place magic cannot be cast and humans are subjected to odd phenomena, the portals cycle from color to color as time progresses, and only the quick will escape. Purple, green, red, blue, purple, green. Nope. Come on. That red. You know, I want that red. Blue. Red. Trappers have no eyes, but can sense sound very well. If Anthony can sneak past them, they won't be troubled. Oh. 
curse progresses. Face is starting to rot off. Say goodbye to that nose. Denzel X, this is uh, chapter three. Deep into that darkness. Oh, that one that really actually got me for a second. It was a reset. <laughs> it's like, wait, what? Yeah, I'm not sure if I've actually seen that one before. First big enemy. Gotta kill him to get by. Go for the, go for the faces, the eyes, or consider them. That guy will give us back a lot of sanity, so we won't do that. trying to save him, Anthony. His fate was decided many centuries ago, as is the fate of this world. Despite your faith, there is little to save you from the power of Salamander. diabolical drawing of a stack of human bodies, each one cemented into place. What twisted psyche could have ex executed this drawing? Though disturbing, it is meticulously rendered, down to the subtlest detail, the precise anatomy of fractured bones and the convolutions of spines and ribs entwined into a mesmer mesmerizing sight. <laughs> An ancient Roman weapon, a gladius, is on display above the fireplace mantle. Another token of eclectic junk. This is a bizarre drawing of a Cyclopean city, its immense architecture bathed in an unnatural fog. The detail is incredible. As Alex studies it, she can almost imagine the city's inhabitants. A painting of a jungle shrouded building. It seems to be a temple in Asia, perhaps from Thailand or Cambodia. I hope the plus button is a D isn't a D-pad because it is so tiny. No, there's the plus button. The plus and minus buttons, like on the Wii. 
G pads over on the left. This looks like some kind of mask. The face is serene in composure, with a faint hint of a smile tugging at the corners of the mouth, and eyes closed in deep meditation. This gothic cathedral is silhouetted against the stark light. The image is vicious and devoid of subtlety. Every brushstroke echoes the spikes of the architecture, imbuing a violent feeling, as though the building itself is a harsh imposition on reality. A grim picture indeed. Knocking on the door, the pounding on the door really got me when I first played it. One of the first games that I played with like a subwoofer. And it was funny because at the time I didn't have like a real surround sound system. I had like my little stereo that I had had since I was like 16. Um, and then um, somebody sent me this subwoofer for review. I don't remember what I did with it, but it, it literally looked like a bomb. It like went up and then had a dome top, and uh, and then yeah, I, I think just plugged my regular, plugged it into the stereo, or plugged the audio into that, and then that back after the stereo, something like that. Uh, there's also audio stuff in here. I don't know if it'll work with the TV, uh, specifically designed to uh, freak out your dogs and cats. Always one of my favorite stories. I have had friends that have had cats freak out. Pretty sure if you go to the door, there's nobody there. Places the blade in the slot feels a pushback. It's as if the magic of the blade does not fit the lock. But it's that key. I know I need the green one. Just showing stuff off. Second floor hype. Serene painting of a luscious mountain valley, delicately rendered in oils. Time has taken its toll on the surface, which is soiled with dirt and scratches. questions the presence of a lush landscape amidst these other morbid pieces. Could it be a single ray of hope encircled by the encroaching darkness? One of the drawers in the dresser curiously has no keyhole. In its place is a small triangular design flanked by a magical symbol. Remember if there 
there's something I'm supposed to do with that or not. Not be enchanted. This is a page from Maximilian Roivus journal. It reads, Everything that brightened my life now engulfed me in darkness. I fed on the light of truth, yet starved on the shadows of lies. I have learned through my lifetime, but no, no less than a newborn baby. There's like a reveal spell or something. And that's what it is. Chapter page has been hastily stashed behind the frame of the painting. Should Alex retrieve the chapter page? The gift of forever. Oh, which one is it? Yeah. Dreams. Modern psychology offers only unproven theories. Some see them as the meaningless tossing and turning of a brain settling into a restful sleep. Others see them as laden with symbols of our unconscious desires. To still others, dreams represent the upwelling of the archetypes, normally hidden deep within the recesses of the human collective unconscious. Of one thing I am certain. After a brush with the ancients, our dreams metamorphosize Asia. into yeah, nightmares. Yeah. 565. for years yet you ignore all my advances you dominate my dreams and I can think of nothing else I fear I desire you many hundred times more than you love me my life has become a waking dream Karim for weeks I have dreamed of an ancient treasure so precious that it changes all life around it it must be mine, Kareem. If you truly desire me, as you say, then you will find this for me. Bring this treasure to me, and I will be yours. Both of our dreams will come true. I need nothing more than you. You have enthralled me to the point where I can think of nothing else. Promise. If I leave, you will not forget about me. You need not worry. I desire nothing more than the treasure that you seek. Leave now, Kareem. And I shall await you.
Man's corpse lies fallen. Wounds cover the exposed flesh of his body, where his armor has failed. from the future. Right.
Yes, we should use the device to descend. Elevator. Lying in a pool of cold blood is a dead soldier. He is the victim of an unseen battle. Perhaps this man died from the claws of the monsters of this place. It is difficult to tell. A man lies dead, anointed in blood from the ravages of a Tolwar sword. The wounds, deep and numerous, seep fresh blood, precise yet powerful. Result of a man's actions, not a monster's. Now, dual wheel. <laughs> so it also means I can't see. Oh, game back. <laughs> that was nice. Inventory disappeared. Yeah, if you don't break those things off, then they will bury themselves into your body. Another dead man. Who are these men whose corpses littered the dungeon? Unwary soldiers who stumbled inside, or grave robbers looking to plunder it? A crumpled scroll lies under the dead man's curled fingers. Recovered stuff. Alright, so I think... Where is it? Spell list. Spell enables the transfer of magical power from the environment to the self. Restoration of body, spirit, and mind is the spell's purpose. Requires Narakoth and Santa. Let's see. So that's one of them. I'm missing another one. So that one requires Zelatos. Close to your home and open the kitchen door. Oh, hello. This is, this is a dual wielding.
door. But she's also got chakrams. Step. Um, Crimson Leagues, the audio during the, the uh, real stream got muted because there was a song in the trailer. Corim has perished at the hands of the eternal darkness. With no one to stop their diabolical plans, humanity will surely be annihilated. Somebody just died? Karim just died. Well, I mean, plenty of people have died. Yeah, might be a good crunch. <laughs> might be a good crunch. Yeah. 245, baby. 245. That's a lot of streaming. I'll be back with Red Dead in an hour. For about an hour. Yeah, I don't know uh, if I'll find some time to do some extra eternal darkness. If, if I do, I'll let you know. Sweet. Uh, I'm going to steal Blood's Wii and try to make Luigi's Mansion happen before the event of Blood. Oh, yeah. Um, so. Thanks, Blood. Yeah. Thanks for watching, everybody. Been a fun day.